Bring your drawing first to front view. So inside the ribbon and inside the view panel, click this drop down arrow and select front. And I'm going to concentrate on this portion here. So draw a line, click anywhere on the screen, move to your right for 1.65, which is from this point to this point. Offset this line, and the distance from here to here is 0 0.5, so over offset, enter, and enter 0 0.5. Click the object, click above that object, enter. And the distance from this line to this line is uh, 1. So offset again. And enter 1. Enter. Click this line. Click above that line. Another line from this from here to here. So offset. Over offset. Enter. And enter 1. Click this line and click above that line. Now I'm going to draw a line. From in point to in point. Draw a circle. So C for circle. Right click. And specify center point of circle. I'm going to use. So shift right click. I'm going to use mid between two points. So this in point and this in point. So now I'm snapping the mid point of the two lines. And just snap the in point. I'm going to offset that. So over offset. And offset that for 0.5. Click the circle. Click outside the circle. Now trim. So TR for trim command. Enter twice. Remove this one. And enter. Now I'm going to draw a line from this point downward. Click that um, quadrant. Trim. TR for trim command, enter twice, and click this one. Now I'm going to draw a line from this point to the center of this arc, and the distance is 1. This is just going to be a guide, and move to your right for 1 unit. So now this is going to be the center of the arc that I'm going to draw. I'm just going to use circle. Click this one, a center, and enter 0.5 for radius. Trim, so TR for trim command, enter twice, remove this one, this one here, and uh, this one too. Just delete that, and delete this one too. Now I'm going to change this, I'm going to remove that line, and make a line from this point to this point for 1.65. So L for line, specify first point. Uh, click that in point and move your cursor to the left for 1.65. Line again for 0.5 and just snap that uh, in point. And then join the segments by typing J for join command. Right click to enter and just window the whole thing. Now this is one object. Now I'm going to revolve this object here and this is going to be the axis of revolution. This one here, the midpoint and the distance is 14, half of 14.1 from the quadrant here, not quadrant, from the center of the circle or arc. So I'm just going to draw a guide, so L for line and specify first point, shift right click. And select center. Move your cursor to the left. And enter 7.05 which is half of 14.1. Now I'm going to revolve this object. So you can either go to modeling panel. Click this drop down arrow and select revolve. Or type in REV for revolve command. Right click to enter. Select the object you want to revolve. Right click again to enter and specify axis start point. Start from this end point 
and just move your cursor downward and specify angle of revolution you can type in zero or 360 degrees I'm just gonna type zero enter and you're done I'm just gonna turn off the grid minimize this one maximize the screen type in materials and inside still you can find this by clicking this drop down arrow beside the Autodesk library select metal and then this drop down arrow here and select steel I'm gonna use um, so I'm gonna use hand so click this arrow and uh, just drag this here and you can adjust the texture so click this pen icon click image the scale enter 5 or maybe 4 that's better close that the glossiness you can adjust and uh, color you can change this to maybe this one here that's better just close this one Go to visualize, click this drop down arrow here and adjust exposure setting. And I think I'm done. So thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to get notified for the next tutorial.